Hi everybody, Steve Chittenden here from SAP Australia, or Australia and New Zealand I should say. Um, the last session that I did around uh, S4HANA and how we use the system and usability raised a whole bunch of questions from some of you. So I really wanted to do a bit of a deep dive into one of the biggest aspects where these questions came from, and that was around the scanning and the usability of the scanning uh, solutions that we have now with S4HANA. Now, in the last session, I showed you, of course, how we can look at the inventory management uh, overviews and things like that, which allows us to see all the stock in all the locations and everything else like that. All those great features that we have, we can drill down into these guys and see all the data and everything else. But when it came to the scanning side of it, that really raised a lot of questions. So I just wanted to kind of show you how that works again in a bit more detail and answer some of the questions that I've had. So first of all, let me go into an app that uses scanning. And this is just, a, all these apps do the same thing here, but let me just select one here. Now, obviously I'm showing you my PC at the moment um, and you can see my computer screen, but if I was to type in a material, I can do that and it will obviously search for it and find it and all those types of things. But I can also use the PC to scan. So this is using the camera. Now I need to just pause the recording here for a second. So I've got to turn off my camera um, to actually allow me to use the camera on the PC. So just one second. Okay, so I've turned my PC camera off for the recording purposes so I can use it to scan stuff. So you'll see now if I click on the scan button here, what will happen is it will open my PC camera up and now you can see me again because, hey, I'm using my computer. But if I want to scan an item, I'm going to try and show this in the, in the, in the, in the side here. So this is my item I've got to scan that's got a barcode on it. Now, if I want to obviously enter that, all I've got to do is show the camera the, the barcode. So here we go. Let me show, there we go, and it picks up the item straight away and enters it straight away into here. So that's just using it on a PC. Now, obviously, that's not that practical because we probably going to use it on a mobile device. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so I've turned my camera, my camera back on so you can actually see me. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, we've scanned there with the, the laptop, which is great and everything, and we can use it to look at all my materials and stuff like that if I'm walking around the warehouse with a laptop, but, you know, how often do we do that? Well, more often, of course, we're going to be taking around these types of devices, um, such as our mobile phones and things like that. So what I've done here is I've joined my phone to the screen. Let's make sure this actually works. So what you should be able to see now on this uh, share is my mobile phone screen actually uh, on the share. And it looks like it's kind of updating a little slowly. So hopefully you can see that changing as I change my screen. And just to show you, this is my actual phone. Um, once this updates, you'll be able to see here that I'm actually, this is my mobile phone. If I turn on my camera, <laughs> just to, for a bit of fun, you can actually see my camera and all that kind of stuff. So this is actually my mobile phone. But of course, I'm running Fury on my mobile phone. So basically what I've got here is uh, the Fury um, interface on my mobile device. And what I can do is just like all the other bits and pieces, I can select any of the apps. So let's say I'm walking around the warehouse or walking around a, a store and I want to see how much stock I've got of a particular material. Let's move my mouse over here. And I can go to my stock single material app and just tap on it. And what it will do, of course, is it will open that app up. But you'll notice again, I can type in the material number, but again, I've got a scanning option. So I can select scan here. And it says, would you like to use the camera? Yes, I would. And what we can then do is, again, you can see now I'm using the camera on my, my mobile phone. Um, and what I can do here is go to the item and scan it. And hey, presto, we've got the, the item scanned in and I can see everything about that item on my phone. Fantastic stuff. Let me just show that again, because it happens so quickly that it's kind of hard to see sometimes. So I hit the scan button. Here I've got my, my camera, let me get my finger out of the way. And if, here's my item, I'm kind of going to hold that up here out of the way a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't scan it straight away. Anyway, as soon as I scan it, in fact it happens so quick, you know, it picks up and, and scans that item uh, immediately. So it's fantastic. Now one of the questions I had was, that's great, but can it handle different barcode types and things like that? 
And the answer is yes. Obviously, the one I've just shown you is a uh, one I've printed out from a from a, just from a barcode uh, uh, printer. Um, but it can use anything. So let, let's say I just pick a random item that happens to have a barcode on it. So again, I'm going to share my uh, my camera here because I'm hitting the scan button. Let me just let that update onto the the screen share. There we go. It's just a bit laggy on the screen share. Uh, coming through on for the recording purposes here. So there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up any item I happen to have lying around, which happens to be in this case a uh, a mobile um, a mobile uh, modem thing. So here's my item. Um, it's a modem. I'm going to try and show it without the uh, the barcode first of all. So this is just a, any barcode you can pick up. And as I scan that barcode, you can see it reads it straight away. Now, I don't happen to have this, this particular item in stock in my system. So, of course, it's just read the barcode and it's saying that item doesn't exist. But I'm showing you this as an example of how it can read pretty much any, any barcode. Um, the other example, uh, sorry, the other question that I got was around can it handle QR codes? Um, and again, this QR code isn't a stock item. It's just a, an example QR code here. But let me show you. The answer is yes, of course. But let me just show you that I'm actually working. So again, if I press the scan button here, it's going to activate the camera, uh, ready to try and scan stuff. Now here I've got a, uh, a QR code uh, on a on a on a um, a card, and as soon as I Hit that again, it's reading that, that QR code. So you can actually see that QR code was actually for a website, and what it's done there is it's actually read the QR code using the scanner. Now, of course, that 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 that, that website isn't a material, so it said, hey, that material doesn't exist in the same way as it did before. But I just want to show you, it can pretty much scan, well, most things, really. So if it's a QR code or a barcode or anything else, and it will scan it. So I just used a couple of random examples there just to show you that actually working. But again, just to see it finally actually working properly, if I was to again press the scan button here, and uh, again, I'm going to scan my, my item. So it immediately picks it up and now shows me everything about that item. So it's fabulous. You know, it's a great way of actually being able to scan using uh, any mobile device as long as it can use HTML5 and obviously can connect to the internet. So I just wanted to show you that on the mobile device so that you can see that actually working as well as obviously the Fury uh, screen because obviously it makes a bit more sense when you do that. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show here is around uh, a question I had around, it's okay using the camera, but what if things are further away or we need to use different types of scanners and things like that? Well, we've got you covered in that regard as well. So if I go into the uh, the app here, so I'm going to go into stock single material. Um, you'll see again, we've got the scan button there, but I'm not going to hit that in this case. I'm going to hit the little uh, options at the top right. And what that's going to do here is give me uh, a little drop down menu that allows me to change what we call the scanner settings. So I can select scanner settings and I can say, okay, I'm not gonna use the camera, so I'm gonna switch that off, but what I'm gonna use is an external scanner, uh, which is awesome. So I'm gonna save that, and I just happen to have in my hand here an external scanner. So this is a Bluetooth scanner, um, just bought from Officeworks for a few bucks, and now I've got that Bluetooth, uh, you should see a little blue, light on there. I've got that Bluetooth to my phone. So I've got my phone in my hand here, which is showing the screen that you can see at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit scan. And what it's going to ask me to do is say, okay, grab the barcode. So I can, again, let me grab my, my parcel here. And I'm now going to scan this parcel. So watch what happens when I scan the barcode of this item on the screen. You can see there it scans it in for me straight away. So that's actually all good. And there we go. So want to use an external scanner with your mobile device with Fury? Answer is yes. So the question then lies is, you know, why would I have different options of being able to do things? So in true um, warehouses, of course, we have um, in EWM, we have the, the RF framework. The RF framework is designed for rapid use 
lots and lots of transactions, scan, 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 on specific rigorized and, and sturdy devices, and also for use on forklifts and things like that. So that's still in play. It still works, and it's fabulous, and it's just nice and quick, but it's not as easy to use and as user-friendly as the Fiori apps. Another option we have out there as well is our APIs. So if you've actually got an existing voice picking solution or you've got a, a finger picking solution or uh, things like TeamViewer and all those uh, other types of partners that we partner with, we can also connect those into our solution as well. And many of our partners actually have developed apps as well that have like a collection of different um, apps you can use. Um, and of course, what I just showed you was the Fury apps. So the Fury apps are really handy because Again, even if you're working in a warehouse where everyone's got RF guns, you might not have your own RF gun. So you can actually use your own mobile device to go out and check stock and things like that. So these are why these things are really, really handy because it opens it up for everybody to use anywhere uh, in the Fury uh, screens, which is great. So all these options are available. Now, looking ahead into the future a little bit, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of you know what's happening next in the scanning space. So... Uh, what I'm going to do here is just pop into a uh, example. So what this is, is basically it's an app. And the advantage of this app is, unlike normal scanning, where we can go in and scan one barcode or one item at a time, what this app allows me to do is simply point it at multiple barcodes, and it will actually pick up multiple barcodes for me. So let me just show you that again. So um, let me just pop into the right spot here. So what we can do is see multiple barcodes and record them all at the same time. So if you think about that, that's really, really handy because it allows you to scan in all the items in one point. And you can even take a photo of it to say, this is what I scanned at the same time. So if you've got 25 items and you can see them all, you can scan them all at the same time, which is fantastic. The other development that's happening and where we're going a bit with this as well is be able to actually... Um, use optical character recognition within our scanners too. So uh, one of the questions I often get is, oh, not everything I've got is, is um, barcoded. Well, that's fine. You know, in the future, what we're looking at now is, as well as just using um, barcodes, is the cameras on our devices can actually do OCR or, 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 or <laughs> character recognition. So what that means is you can just point it at something and it will actually read the text and bring that into the app for it to be used. So there's some really exciting, great stuff happening in the scanning space, but I just wanted to uh, do a little bit more of a deeper dive on that so people could actually see it working a bit more across different barcode types and obviously different devices. I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for your time.